morning guys and happy Monday. Welcome back to the vlog. Oh my goodness, what a crazy weekend it has been. We had our gender reveal party and I am just over the moon now that we know the gender. If you guys don't know yet, it's a baby girl and I'm sure I posted the gender reveal video before posting this video up, but oh my God, I cannot believe it. We're having a baby girl. So this is a fresh new week. I feel like all of last week went by so fast. It was just running errands and like it was just nonstop. And we had a lot of friends and family visiting. So it was like go, go, go ever like just the whole, every single day was just jam packed and everything worked out so well. And we finally got to rest last night. And now I'm just kind of feeling like, okay, it's a calm morning again. It's Monday. I'm actually really excited just to get back into routine. Things are going to slow down for a little bit before picking up again. Again. So, oh my gosh, I still have some decorations up from the baby shower, not baby shower, the gender reveal, baby showers later. Uh, and I can show you guys like what's still up and I'm sure you guys have already seen it in the previous videos. But yeah, I just love the decorations. It's so cute. So I might leave it up for a little bit. And oh my gosh, today, what are we doing today? We need to go grocery shopping. So we're gonna go to Trader Joe's, which you guys love. So I need to pick up some groceries for the week, get some greens in because we've been eating a lot of carbs. Even though tonight I think I'm gonna make some rice because rice, it's life, it's comfort food. So we'll do that. And yeah, me and myself a cup of coffee. Baymax got me. And yeah, I'm just so excited to get into the group of things. Got some work to do, gotta edit some videos and send out emails. And we're just gonna make this a really productive day. But thank you guys so much for all your support. You guys are so sweet over on Instagram. We shared our uh, gender reveal video and it was so fun being able to like have that moment with you guys too, along with our friends and family. It blows my mind. I keep rewatching that video because I love seeing Johnny's reaction and just mine and it's so funny. So if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I'll link my Instagram right here and you guys can go watch that video too. So here's what's left over. We cleaned up a lot of the stuff, but I need to figure this out today. This was a cake stand. We had cupcakes and muffins on here. I bought some baby's breath flowers from Trader Joe's. And this N is actually from our wedding, which was four years ago. So I'm, it's so crazy. I could still use decorations like that. So I love it. We like spray painted this N. And then um, right here we have this cute chalkboard that says, will baby N be a stud muffin or a cupcake? So cupcake one, which is a girl. And then this face right here, I actually purchased from Cost Plus World Market or Ikea. And it was super cheap for our wedding and we just got like a gold foil pen and we did polka dots all around and I'm so happy I'm able to reuse it for different occasions and I think the baby's breath look awesome there and then right here we have this really cute sign that my sister-in-law made for me during our wedding and I think it was for our dessert table it says eat me and there's a little hidden Mickey here which is so cute we did like hidden Mickey stuff for our wedding and I love it and it was actually really cute having that eat me sign we placed it next to the waffles that we had we had Mickey waffles at the gender reveal because Johnny and I bought this Mickey waffle maker and oh my god I love that thing so much so it was so fun being able to make Mickey waffles and still have Disney be a part of it it was so so cute everything came together so well and then we have this baby sign right here and I just got that from Target so all the food was just like right here and it was so packed in here so much love and uh, oh my heart is so happy So for our gender reveal party, we had a brunch. So I made a tater tot breakfast casserole and we had so much left over. So that's what I'm gonna be eating today for breakfast. Let me show you guys. It doesn't look as appetizing now that it's been cold, but we're gonna heat it back up. So here we are with a tater tot breakfast casserole. We have sweet Italian sausage in here. I have tater tots, an egg mixture with milk, onion powder, salt and pepper, and then we have pancetta on top. And the cheese that I use was cheddar. And it was so good, nice and savory. So this is breakfast. We have tater tot casserole. I put a side of avocado because avocado is amazing. And then some sriracha and then some fruit. So I just got home from Trader Joe's. Let me show you guys what I got. So I got some basil. We have some sourdough bread because you know I love my bread. We got some cilantro. We're gonna make guacamole. And then I picked up some bell peppers, one red, one orange. I'm gonna make some pasta later this week. 
And then I have some avocados. And then over in this bag, we have the pasta. And then we have some tomatoes. Picked up some more apples for snacks. And then this is the broccoli and kale slaw that I really like. I showed it in a previous video where we made um, chicken salad. And this is the salad pack that we used. So I picked up two of those. I was also craving chocolate chip cookies. So I got this chunky chocolate chip cookie dough. So I might make this later this week or maybe even tonight. And then I also got more of the autumnal creamy pasta sauce right here. And then I saw this. It was really interesting. They have a non-dairy oat beverage. So I wanted to try it. They were doing a sample of it and it tasted pretty good and I really like oat milk. So I'm thinking about doing this um, with my lattes instead of whole milk. So we'll give it a shot. Let me know if you've tried this. And then lastly, I just have some chicken thighs and drumsticks. And for dinner that night, I decided to make one of my favorite home cooked Chinese dishes that my grandma used to make me. And it's a tomato and egg stir fry. And in Cantonese, it's called Fan Ke Dan. And it's really simple and it's really good. Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. It is around like eight o'clock right now. We're having an early morning start. I'm about to go to a bar class. I haven't taken one this early in a while, but it's with one of my favorite instructors. So I'm gonna head to class and get an early morning start. So we'll see how it goes, but it's actually chilly out today. So I'm so excited for that. So I totally didn't make it to bar today because as I was driving, I realized that there was so much traffic and I was never gonna make it to class in time. So I just told my Myself. It's okay. Just go get gas, run some errands, and we'll try again another day. It was my first time trying to go to early morning class in a long time. I feel like the last time I went was before I was pregnant. And that was a while ago. So yeah, I just been going to like later classes at like 5.30 or so or six o'clock. So there hasn't been much traffic. So it's okay. But now I am making, I'm trying to make an Earl Grey latte because that just popped into my head and it sounded so good. So right now I'm just steeping some Earl Grey tea from Trader Joe's and then I'm gonna steam up some milk and combine it all and add some lavender, not lavender extract, I wish I had lavender, some vanilla extract to see how that goes because it just sounded so warm and cozy. It's actually really um, cold today. So I thought it'd be like a perfect cup of tea. <music> Okay guys, ultimate taste test. We'll see. It looks really pretty. We'll see how it tastes. Ooh, that is so good. This reminds me of the Starbucks one. I usually get a, like a London fog around this time. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. I'm just gonna start making drinks at home because you save so much money and you usually have all the ingredients anyways. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I think this might be my new favorite drink right now. I go through different periods where I love different things. So this is really good, guys. Happy Wednesday guys. So it's a lot later in the day when I'm starting this vlog, but I am currently prepping some chicken for dinner tonight. We're gonna be making lemon pepper chicken drumsticks with rice. So I'm just marinating everything before I head off to my bar class and then Johnny can grill it right up when he gets home from work. Hi, Bender. Oh, nice. Hi, babe. Ooh, what do we have here? Guys, this is the chicken that was marinating. We have lemon chicken, lemon chicken, lemon pepper drumsticks. Hi, Squirt. Hey, guys, I just got back from bar and I am starving. I'm so hungry. Here's a quick 21 week bump shot. Oh, I'm so excited. I made rice, so we're gonna eat this with rice. I'm gonna make some bok choy to go along with the rice and the chicken and it's gonna be so tasty. I finally made it to class. You guys know from yesterday that I totally did not make it because I was running late and I was stuck in traffic, but it's okay. There is a new day, which is today, and as long as you just make it and you get it done whenever you can, you're good. Happy 
Happy Halloween! So this is what I'm dressing up as, Harry Potter Snuggie. It's a great last minute costume. And tonight we're making some pasta. We're trying this new pasta bake. I literally just thought about it in my brain. So we'll see how this tastes. It looks really good so far. And now we're about to pop it in the oven. Look who I'm with. I found Johnny. We're inside Target. We're browsing the holiday section. They're still setting up, but oh my gosh, this looks so cool. We're in a new, newly remodeled Target, so there's music, the layout is different, but guys, look. Isn't this is exciting? Oh my goodness. I feel really, really big today. Babe is really popping. You wanna show them, babe, what I'm looking like? Yeah. Here's a better look, guys. The bump. It's really popping. She's really popping. I can say that now. This is also my Dolores dress, Johnny calls it. If you guys watch Westworld, this is a Dolores dress. <laughs> this is from Gal Meets Glam, but it's funny. This is what he reminds. This is what this dress reminds Johnny of. I don't even know. I'm not making sense. But guys, look. Christmas. Westworld, good show. Oh, yeah. Westworld. It's a really good show. But yeah, they're still setting up. I'm so excited. I'm one of those people where it's like, November 1st, it's Christmas time. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for the upcoming holiday season. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Bye, guys.